Hi all and welcome into this iRacing video. In this video we're going to be showing off the Skip Barber Hot Lap here at Barcelona National Circuit. Um, I managed to set a 122.266 so I thought I'd share how I did that. Um, how we usually format these videos is initially I will just let you watch the lap with um, the overlays you're seeing on screen. Um, I'll get rid of the webcam so you can just see the lap and feel it for yourself. After that, we'll run through the lap together. I'll be talking about breaking points, exits, things I've found, uh, any tips I can think of, bend by bend, and we can roll back and forth and just make sure we're getting the information across. And at the end, we'll um, just zoom out, far chase view. I'll talk through while we just let the lap run. Uh, anything I missed from just being on the cockpit with you, um, just to make sure you've got all the markers down. All right, let's get into it. I'll let the lap run. Okay, now you've seen the lap, let's go through it together, making sure you hit all the braking points, um, cover everything, gears, turning in, thoughts. All right, let's get into it. Okay, the first braking marker at the end of the straight is going to be the blue cone on the right. Um, it's around 250, 240 yards um, away from the apex. Okay, we're going to get down all the way down to first gear, but we're really only using that last gear to get the nose tucked in, because you want to be all over this apex on, e on exit. So allow the car just to drift, but it's exit where you want this curb because you're going to need to be as far over to the right as possible so you can open up the throttle and keep it flat through the next section. So let's just watch that again. Down through the gears nice and easy, blipping. That's it, first gear gives us that nice little kick. Hang it out wide, just short of the apex. I'm flat through this entire section here. Here, you want to straight line it left of that curb. So this is why we're important we open up the previous bend because this whole section in front we can hold full throttle as long as you don't scrub too much pace. Keep it nice and flat, open the wheel up nice and straight that is all that's important is missing that yellow curb. Okay here we don't brake I just use about 50% throttle at the mar white marker we turn at the end of the uh, red and white curb apex the white mark is where we start our turn in. We just lift the throttle for a little bit of confidence not too much apex and back on the throttle so as you can see by the um, throttle graph there in green, we uh, went down to about 50% throttle, eased back on it until we were confident that we were um, not going to be sent out too wide here. The key here is using all this curb here, but keeping the right hand tyre on the inside apex there on the red, otherwise you're going to get an off track. Okay, heading down to one of the most more difficult parts of the bend, first of the course, about the 100 mark, let's just check. Where do we apply the brakes exactly? So we're looking at about 120. Easy on the brakes. Down to first gear. Once again, I'm aggressive on the on the apex here. We want the rotation. So I get the speed off quite aggressively for a skip. Then it's all about that turn in. I don't mind hitting the apex too hard here as long as I can get full throttle on an apex and not go over this curb. So let's see if I he I'm hesitant on the throttle at all. We are not. We, as soon as we get on 100% here, we are making sure we avoid that yellow curb on the far right. That's your limit. Flat through this section, keeping it as left as much as you can, but 
I wouldn't be too greedy with going left here because the um, lack of downforce and the skip really throwing it left. You've got to come back right and then you've got to control the rear kicking out. Here, however, it is about rotation. So once again, I use first gear to kick the nose round. As you can see, got an aggressive nose uh, kick there. Heading out wide here. This is this exit's pretty re relatively easy in the skip, as long as we hold the inside. So I do actually miss the a the apex a little bit more than I would prefer. Um, really, you want to avoid that yellow curb, but you want to get more rotation. But rotation here is the hardest part. That's why I use first gear to try and help me. But exit's fine. End of the apex here. Break here i'm breaking a little early here but nice i'm breaking gently really it's about your exit speed how how quickly you can be back on the throttle through this section you don't want to oversteer and you certainly don't want to understeer because you're going to be heading out wide to the bend so i'm very easy on the brakes i turn in quite aggressively catch the kick of the rear i'm modulating the throttle as much as i can i'm not trail braking through this section i don't need it here we go once again we're trying to miss this curb on the outside throttle is full down um, let me run one back. I just noticed I do make a slight confidence lift on the throttle. There you go. Um, so because I missed the apex a little bit here, it could have been better for sure. The, 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 the fact I've missed it, as you can see, I start lifting the throttle down to 50, then back up again. If I hadn't have done that, I would have um, hit the curb, lap over. So you can definitely improve on my time here. Make the apex. You should be on full throttle now. Keep it down. Break back to the far right. My advice here, especially if you're struggling for this last section, it's difficult. Take all your speed off. Just get the speed off. It's all about the exit for the straight anyway and making it through clean, not damaging your car and not getting a uh, two second slowdown. So I head out wide. I get down to first gear. I keep the vehicle really slow. What do we see at the lowest? 40 miles an hour. I want to make this apex. And once again, I'm a little bit hesitant on the throttle here. I noticed in the replay. You want to be on the throttle as soon as possible. You want to open this up. I could have opened it up a little bit more. I let go of the... I start coming off my turn a little early. And I'm already turning right. And as you can see, I've left myself quite a narrow turning. So I get on the full throttle there. Just... Where am I on full throttle? Now I'm on full throttle. You can be, if you make the apex right, full throttle about here. And here, keep it clean. Don't scrub speed. Head to the apex. You don't need any of it though. Let the, vehicle, let the vehicle slide out to the left. And there you go. That's a 122.266. Okay, now we'll just run for it one more time in the far chase, just so we can talk through it. I won't be pausing it or anything. Just we'll talk through it in real time, just to make sure we've, we've got it down. Okay, let's run through the lap one more time. I won't be pausing it, but I'll be talking through everything we've learned, hopefully, just to make sure we've got it down. Okay, so obviously stay nice and left coming down the straight. We're looking for the cone on the right as our breaking point. Entry into this bend, just keep it smooth, don't lose the rears, it's all about the exit. Use first gear to get the nose to jab round as you see there. All over the apex there for exit, head out wide, just miss the apex. Don't want to unsettle the car. You can keep it flat through here with practice. Straight through there, always just avoiding that yellow curb. We don't need to break here, follow the camber of the curb. Lift the throttle 50-60%, then get back on it as soon as you're feeling confident. You're going to make this and not get an off track. Keep the tyres there on the apex. Head out wide to the right here, being careful to get aggressive, taking off the speed in a straight line. And once we've got that speed off, we're feeling confident. First gear, all over the apex, not getting an off track. Throttle early for confidence, once you're confident. Flat through this section. Here is about maximising rotation. Anything you can to get closer to that apex. As you can see, I'm struggling. I use first gear to get the nose round. Head out wide, not getting an off track. Here you want to make the apex on like I did. There you go. Full on the throttle. Breaking a straight line. Once you're confident and down to first gear. Come in. All about an exit here. Full throttle. Okay, now just easy. Do not try and take more than you need here. There is nothing to be gained. Only to be lost there. Keep the vehicle nice and straight. And there you go. A 122.266. Guys, I really hope it helps. I love making these hot lap videos. Um, I only make them when I'm happy with a lap and something I can share and learn from. Obviously, any questions down in the comments, catch me on Discord. I'm happy to help. Um, there's definitely time that can be found. I think there's two places where um, I either miss an apex or I'm not as confident on the throttle as I should have been by uh, setting myself up better. 
But no, other than that, I'm really pleased. I'm looking forward to uh, racing here this week. Um, hoping for a good result. Uh, but yeah, I really hope this helps. Let me know how you get on. Send me your lap times. So I'm uh, happy for you guys to beat me. I would love nothing more. That's why I'm sharing this lap. All right, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see my next one, subscribe. If you want to know when my next video comes out, bell notification. Other than that, thank you for all the support, all the likes, all the comments, everything. It's been great. All right, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.